What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So after a long time, OnePlus have rolled out a new update for OnePlus 8, 8 Pro, 8T and OnePlus 9R, which is the second build of Stable Oxygen OS 12. So in this video, let's quickly take a look what all changes OnePlus have done with this latest build. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 8 which I've already updated to the latest build of Oxygen OS 12 stable build. Here you can see Android version is Android 12. We still have 5th March 2022 security patch. If you talk about the version, now the latest version is C.15. And before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. And still we have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel, but they do watch our videos. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And now first let's talk about the benchmark results. So here are the results using Geekbench application wherein single core has scored 908 and multi core have scored 3098. With Antutu benchmark application device have scored 6,64,584 and these results are without high performance mode. We also did CPU throttling test and with this new build, I did not see any kind of throttling issues. Maximum CPU throttled up to 86%. As said, these results are without high performance mode. And guys, if you are looking for these wallpapers, so these are the latest live wallpapers from OnePlus 10R. If you want to use these wallpapers on your device, I'll provide the download links in the description below. Just download them. Use Google Wallpaper APK if you are running Oxygen OS 12. Go to live wallpaper section. And from here, you can select the live wallpapers from OnePlus 10R. So all the live wallpapers works fine on my OnePlus 8. And even you guys should not have any kind of issues using these wallpapers on any of your device. So this isn't a huge update for OnePlus 8 series or OnePlus 9R. The update size was around 275 or 280 MB, which brings lot many fixes to the previous build of stable Oxygen OS 12. And guys, after Oxygen OS 12, we have been always seeing comments regarding OnePlus stock dialer. So we have already made a video on this topic yesterday. If you guys are having Google dialer on your device, any OnePlus smartphone, then make sure to watch the video which is being displayed on the screen and download the APK of OnePlus stock dialer. Using that APK, you guys can enjoy call recording without announcement on OnePlus stock dialer. Also talking about the installation process, so guys if you haven't received the OTA update in the system update section, then I'll provide the incremental files in the description below. Just download the, your specific device file, place it inside the internal storage of your device. Later you need to download Oxygen OS updater application, install that APK on your device, open it, tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner and select the file of incremental update and you only use incremental update if you are already running oxygen os 12 first stable build so basically this update doesn't bring any kind of new add-ons but there are many fixes done over the previous update so first one is related to the charging speed many users have already been complaining about the charging speed so charging test will be covering in a review video and i'll let you know guys how much time does my device take to charge from 0 to 100 I'll test it in multiple scenarios like once with screen on and later with device completely turned off. So charging speed results will be uploaded in the review video. And if you guys are facing any kind of issues on the first stable build of Oxygen OS 12, that also let me know in the comment section below so that I can cover those things in the review video. After that few fixes have been done with the calling stuff though personally I never faced any kind of issues while making calls. On the previous build I have seen few users complaining about face unlock not working properly but on this build I did not see any kind of issues while unlocking the device. Device instantly unlocks using face unlock feature. Later they fixed some display issues of third party applications as said never encountered anything but if you guys have encountered do let me know in the comment section below. Later they have improved the system stability but I don't want to judge it so soon till now device seems to be doing good but I'll be testing out this device thoroughly and we'll get back to you guys in the review video about the stability and other stuff. At last they have fixed the notification issue of camera application so whenever users used to open the camera application they used to see a message in the notification panel which had this message of camera running. So that has been taken care by OnePlus and now we don't have any kind of issues with the camera application. So basically nothing much to be covered in this video, few minor bug fixes have been done by OnePlus, rest all other stuff like camera, gaming, performance, battery backup will be covering in a review video. So guys this was a quick look on the latest build of Oxygen OS 12 for OnePlus 8 series. If you still have any kind of questions let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out, see you guys in the next video.